apparently, we're starting out this on a Parque Fernando a little earlier than I wanted to. This was uh, kind of last minute getting everything together. We were working on a video, which I think turned out really good, till uh, a little, a little later than I probably should have been, and yeah, basically didn't get to set the time on Parque, but we'll go and look for Red Deer for like 10 minutes, maybe clear some pressure, and then go after Black Buck and Mule Deer. Winner's Creek with the 8 month uh, membership renewal, welcome back. Hey. Does YouTube have the 9 month badge or does Twitch have the 9 month badge? I can never remember, but appreciate you man, welcome back. I think I got my loadout all set and stuff. Pretty sure everything is going to be good to go here, sights are on. I think we're all good. Yeah, access to you over there. And that's something I wouldn't mind going after also. There's a little red deer coming in. So the... One of the things that I was looking at while I was making the thumbnail was access to you actually because some of my best like sort of Parque Fernando scenery images are from when access to you came out for making those thumbnails and it got me thinking about that. I'd love to get a couple more like good size access to you because a lot of the ones we have in the lodge were from when they were super common. The two piebald diamonds were sort of legit but the mellow diamond kind of isn't like there were rares and level fives around every corner. And, uh. I don't know, it's like a, it was an easy to find super rare and I kind of want to get it out of the lodge. So maybe a, a big access to you could fit in there as well. What's up, son of a starcher? Welcome back. I have arrived at the return. Welcome to back. Good to see you, dude. Goodness, I'm hitting rocks with my drink. I'm glad you can make it, winners. Hopefully it'll be a good one. Um, like I was saying, the video that I just went did, um, or almost went did, I have to literally go record the trophy lodge portion because I couldn't uh, get that part done before the stream. It was like a single player thing that ended up really good. And it was kind of a similar sort of idea. It was a map that, without spoiling things, a map that uh, I've been hunting a decent amount, got some respawns, and it might actually have had maybe my second or third favorite kill from that map ever, so pretty cool. Who's the winners and of what? Everything. What are we talking over? Tom said I should read the chat with you, so then we can just talk over each other. You read, I'll answer. Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a mess. Me you lost me. That would be a mess because just trying to be able to hear everything that's happening. I don't know. I, I would comprehend it better if I'm reading it and knowing what I'm about to answer. Because I have a little bit of time. Like, I can kind of glance over it, then I read it. And I can start to figure out a response. What's up, Mel? Got my first rare on Classic. It was an albino white-tailed doe. That's pretty cool. They redid the... What did we almost just spot there? There was something. I think. Anyway. They redid the albinos. There is a red deer back in there. But yeah, the, the old albino white-tail didn't look that good. They were almost like a grayish off-white color. Now they're like a proper bright white. I think they look good. Oh, okay. Guess we're just not drinking for very long. 12 second sips. We need a guest appearance for Kyla. Did you watch yesterday's video? Gross. Gross. You did great. I was proud of you. You came up with that whole thing. But I lost. It was luck. It was trash. Is Magic. that is that one flock? Oh, that's a tree. That is a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I was hugging trees like you. <gasps> At least you didn't hit me with. I know. I won't do it again. I need to just watch the screen. <laughs> Hunting a multi for more trophies? That sounds about right. What's up, Blitz? Just on parquet? There's no white tail on parquet. What are you doing? Drifting away from Call of the Wild, but you're the one Call of the Wild YouTuber who I still watch, and you make me want to play the game again. Keep up the great work. Well, I'm glad that the uh, videos and streams kind of help with that kind of stuff. I do get that, like, sometimes I I think about that. Would I play Call of the Wild and Classic, like, as much as I do, as many days or, like, whatever, as many times as I do, like, if it wasn't a part of my job? And probably the answer would be no, but, I don't know, even back in the day with Classic, I always ended up coming back to it. I remember, like, when I was, I'm gonna say... 14 or 15, ooh. Pretty thick access to your track there. Um, 
there was a year where I just had a, a terrible time relife hunting. I just I missed like four or five deer. And this is all with a gun, by the way. I, I would I just started bow hunting, but I didn't miss any with a bow. And my dad actually said, like, I think you need to play your hunting games again. You never were this bad before. So I was like, all right, bet. And I, I guess I haven't looked back in that aspect, but I think it does help. I think even when it's just like point pointing and clicking and that's it, you get kind of used to where you're lining up the crosshairs. I don't know. Maybe that doesn't make any sense, but in my mind, if you get used to where you want to place the bullets, the games are pretty realistic shot placement wise. It would seem to make sense. Don't sound near as sleepy as yesterday, Street. Did we sound sleepy yesterday? Yeah, scroll up. Scroll up? And read McLovin's thing. Okay. What's up, Scarecrow? The real question is, does Kyla actually have a nice chair to sit in while he streams? I'm picturing Flinter in his gaming chair while Kyla has a metal folding chair. <laughs> <laughs> it is a camp chair. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Better than sitting so, on the floor. <laughs> listen, I bought her a gaming chair, but the setup we have right now, like the the ultimate goal here is to get her a setup in this room as well. But until we get to that point, the way that this desk is, like you wouldn't be able to really get in and out if it was the normal gaming chair. We're gonna hello there. We're gonna do something different, but uh, temporary setup as we're kind of getting unpacked and moved in and all that. Yeah, it's, it's a camp chair. I was sitting in it too sometime. I don't know, I was standing when we did that. You were standing. Because it's a very comfortable chair. <laughs> big stick it out, nice. Ooh, big red couple five. What, uh, what fur type? Where is the background music from? It's from Epidemic Sound. That's a, a thing though. You wanted to change that. into a tree. I'm going to just look at the screen Stop from now on. Stop looking at me. You wanted to change the stream musics, or choose the stream musics, oh, I should say. Time. Yeah. Not sleep until noon. Yeah, I think. Until two. Hopefully, having done the video for tomorrow already, or most of it, will help with that. But that's kind of been our schedule. Like, between hunting and trying to get a video done, and then, you know, we're somewhat in the process of getting stuff moved in. Like, we don't have living room furniture yet any of that kind of stuff better than a classic classic Whew. plastic crate <laughs> that just broke my brain wow. 218 brown nice please play on controller I've got um I've got like a cord that would work for an Xbox controller but I don't know where it is slouching in the camping chair at least there's no posture check things true Found a level five Mouflon. Nice, Johnny. I wish Epidemic Sound was a little bit cheaper. Massive selection, though. Well, they used to be... I think they changed it. Because I used to pay 30 a month for them. Because they, they had, like, tiers. There was... If you got less than... 500,000 views a month or something. Or maybe it was less than... F I forget what it was. I think it was... Zero to 500,000 was 15 a month. And then like 500,000 to 5 million a month would cost you 30. But I think it's all one price now, so it might have actually gotten cheaper. Smoked. Now I feel bad, McLovin got us figured out. Awkward. It's got a camera somewhere. <laughs> it's in that little pop vinyl thing. Oh god. Or <laughs> it's in the air conditioner. When I was trying to record earlier, there's... So when I bought the house, um, there were a couple of things that like the Stellar was kind of not planning on bringing with him in the air conditioning units for one of them. And I was like, you know what, in the summer it might be good to have some extra ones. And one of them he just left in the window here and the rain was blowing in and it was so loud. Cause I'm, I mean the microphone's five feet from it. Need to just get that out of there this time of year. Is Parquet worth buying? What do you think? Not as much. It's no longer the best red deer map. Because it used to be just leagues better than uh, Hirschfeld was for red deer. But you can go to Quattro or you can go to Tay for red deer. I mean, Primos are there. I still like Black Buck and Axis Deer a lot. So, 
that's kind of one of those things. If you like those species, you do work for the government. See, it all makes sense. It all makes sense. Yeah, it depends on the species, man. What I would do, anytime anybody asks about, like, purchasing a map or if it's worth it, I will say go to multiplayer and try it out. You can play any map that you don't own in multiplayer um, as long as someone in the game has the DLC, the game will stay open. If no one in the game has the DLC, it'll close after 15 minutes. So just kind of be aware of that, but I'd give it a shot, see if you like it, and kind of make the decision from there. Just join, hope the move went well. Went pretty well, I would say. All things considered, went pretty well. We're still, you know, lots, lots to do here, but we're getting somewhere, getting some stuff slowly checked out the list it's just the time of the year probably couldn't have been a whole lot worse for being busy because if we're not working on videos and if we're not hunting i guess we're probably sleeping there's <laughs> not a lot of room in there for for other things so yeah the extra time that goes into hunting is definitely slowed down i guess that's the process of getting everything sort of set up here but we'll get there we have Today's we're not hunting. Today's a rain day. I think we're going to try to get out this evening yet, though. Um, advantage of being able to hunt um, on the property where you live versus before I had to, like, drive to my parents after a Monday stream. We should be able to be in the tree stand at, like, 545, which at this time of year is earlier in the, early enough, I think. Most of my trail cam pictures were sort of morning, but it's been raining all day. Maybe they'll want to walk out and, you know, dry off a little. Would you rather an albino or melanistic great one? Mela? I say Mela. I don't like, I don't know, the albino whitetail fur now. I don't think I like it as much. I, it is probably a little more realistic, but I just like the way they look before more. So I'd probably take a Mela. Is everything moved from your old place? Yeah, I'm completely out of there. Um, Everything's moved. I don't know where everything is. Literally, the night before, so Friday night, uh, the night before, like, archery season opened, I went, I shot a little bit at my parents, because, like, I've got a little block target here, but we've got a deer target there, and it's just, you know, it's better to shoot at a deer target uh, this time of year, so you're just used to placing your shots in those spots. And I, <laughs> Kyla was with me, I looked at her, I was like, I don't have lighted knocks. I never, I never do that. Like, I always make sure I have them. So luckily, these old ones that my brother bought, which are some, you know, off-brand cheap ones, they fit perfectly in the Meat Seeker arrows that uh, TK makes, so got them, got them working. I have six more of them somewhere, I just can't find them. 12 minutes late, what's up, bottom boy? Bob plays, glad I finally made a stream, glad you can make it, dude. I just started editing a couple weeks ago. I never realized how much work goes into it. Props. Don't know how you keep up. You streamline a lot of that stuff, I think. Um, you know, as you get used to it. I was looking the other day. I think, I think YouTube counts lives and actual videos separate. So when it says 1.7K videos, I think it actually is like 1,700 videos and not, say, 1,400 videos and 300 streams or whatever it would be. Um... So yeah, you kind of start to figure out some tricks. When it's when it's a normal hunting video, I can do the actual editing process in 25, 30 minutes, depending on how long the video itself is. But then like for the goose one that Kyle and I did yesterday, I edited that after the Red Dead stream. And what, I was done for some. So it was three plus hours to do that one. Just different, different style, more stuff had to go into it. But I like doing those. I like the ones that are changing it up use their arrows the meat seeker ones the TK makes yeah he sent them to me they've they've flown really good um what was I using I don't think I shot any other arrows out of my new bow so I, I guess I never had the experience my brother he was using some carbon express maxima hunters or something like that and he put the meat seeker arrows on his bow and didn't have to change the sight. Nothing. It was they hit exactly the same. So they're nice arrows. I like them. I believe lives do count towards it. So I did my 1,000th video a while back. See, okay, let me um 
Hello there. I guess I have a thing already pulled up. You can sort in your, like, video manager somewhere. I want to see if, if I go to content. Does it give me a number? I think it might at the bottom. 133, what's 133 times 30? Math that I can't do. Just playing on Parquet today, looking for Mule Deer, Black Buck, and that kind of stuff. I still want to get a couple more rare Black Buck. I, by the way, even with a couple of super rares that I've seen, I have not seen a rare Black Buck that had, like, even horns. I swear, like, something's broken, or maybe it's intentional, but you can't actually get one that's even, so I've got a gold stick, but it just looks uneven and terrible, and I don't like it. But I might have to just deal with that if I want the, the rare ones. It, it kind of seems to be the case that that's just how they all are. Do you like the muzzle loader? I do. It's a good gun. Um, a lot of times I like to carry weapons that give the at least opportunity for like a quick follow-up shot. So I've got the 303 today. I've got the 243 for the smaller stuff. The muzzle loader, it's super powerful. But obviously that long reload time... You just gotta make sure your first shot counts, which, you know, as long as you do that, it's all good. And as long as you're not trying to grind for a species where you want to get several out of each herd. I hope we got that. That was a tough shot to get behind that one and then into the one we wanted. There's one other kind of decent guy. That, I think, will be okay. Although he's not going down. Neither of those died. Alright, that, that went well. Where's the... I don't even know where the first way shot is. They should die, I think, from the 243. Worst case scenario, they'll go around here and we can get a better look, but that didn't go to plan. How do you like the tracers in the Hunter? In the Hunter Call of the Wild, I don't care for them. They just... I don't know why they blink. I've never seen any tracer or, like, a lighted knock in real life that does that. In Classic, they just stay lit. The same as they do in real life, and I think they're really cool. I wish, like, a little customization, like, uh, getting to choose the color of them would be nice. I always like, like, I use green most of the time in real life. I used some red a couple of years ago, but generally green's what I like to go with. Because you can just see it so well, even in low light. And in classic, I think your options are, like, orange or red. Oh, well, blue if you use the crossbow. But you can't really customize, it's just depending on what weapon you're using. Someone posted a diamond lucistic black box same day I got my diamond lucistic shimmy. Sounds about right. Still in the spotlight. Stomach shot on that one, by the way. I don't know where the other one is, but they both died. Just got an albino plains bison. Nice. Be ever gonna grab a snack? No worries, dude. What hunter game do you like more? Call the Wild or Classic? I always say, like, it depends on what you're looking for in a hunting game, like, trying to make those comparisons. Because Call of the Wild's got more realistic graphics, at least. But in terms of realism, that's kind of where that one is. Classic's got the advantage, generally speaking, when it comes to realism. And Call of the Wild, like, if you just want to go for a hunt and see a bunch of animals, see a bunch of bucks, have a pretty good shot at getting something good. Call of the Wild is going to be the way to go, but if you want like a more kind of authentic cutting experience, if you want to have more of a rewarding, I guess, rewarding feeling, should I call it, when you actually get something good, then yeah, Classic's definitely, definitely the better one. There's a four in there. Is it? You better quit before we try to go hunting. Email the weather, man. Be like, hey, quit that. I set out a rain cover for the camera, by the way. I'll have to figure out how they work. The rain cover's trying to sell film. It's basically pointless, because you can't see what you're filming, but if someone else is using the camera, it should be doable. Well, well, well. Next shot, bro. Don't worry about the couple of long shots that I missed before. Just look at the next shot that we made. Bad rain. Go figure. Oh, it's pouring. It's literally like the smallest cloud over us, <laughs> and there's nothing else around. Is it? Yeah. Of course. 
There's the rain hitting the AC. If you guys can hear that, that's what I was talking about earlier. My fault for bringing it up, I guess. Oh, you did go. it. I did oh. it. If anyone has to pee, sorry. It's it's great because we definitely haven't used that AC the entire time. I don't even need it in there. I just need to take it out of there, but now it's gonna be all wet, so I gotta wait till it dries off. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's fine. Stomach shot them both. Goodness. In classic, I'm like, holy crap, that's a buck in Call of Duty. I'm like, holy, a level five moose. What's the difference? Just just finding a buck in classic, you feel accomplished. When's the next Rancho live? I don't know. Might go for pheasants again sometime in the fairly near future. Parker has been alright, Clay. Nothing huge so far, but we kind of just got into it here with the black buck. Um, I didn't get this at the time for the stream because, like, last second, I actually got it ready to go. And we probably spent, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes in red deer drink time. So we're really getting into the part that I wanted to do now. And we're starting to kind of rack up some kills. What was wrong with that shot? I don't understand. Oh, what? Where did I hit that one? Don't hear the rain, but it's rain. But send it west. We'll still need it. Alright, I'll uh, go outside and shake a rug. Blow it away. Uh, Premium Gaming, thank you for the super chat, man. I appreciate you. Gotta get a Mela Pheasant? I really want one. I mean, I've got like 12 Mela Hens at this point, but a Mela Rooster would be nice. A lovely bottom boy. Every time I think I've scratched the Pheasant itch, Mel gets something I want. I think that's just, uh, just the way of it. You, you think you got everything that you kind of want, and then you see someone get something, like, approximately, and you're like, nah, I want that. Okay. Next shot, Buck. That's that's that one. I think this is the four that we shot in the lungs running away. Maybe Rascal can help us out. Do you, would you rather the Hunter Primal or Red Dead 2? As much as I like the Hunter Primal, I don't like that even with basically all the best guns in the game and stuff, I still feel like at any moment a T-Rex could kill me and I'm going to have to go back and get all my stuff again. Like, I guess... The good side of that is that it never is going to be boring, like you just can't die anymore. But the bad side is, if you do die, then you got to run forever and go get your stuff. But while you're doing that, you got to be careful, because if you don't have any equipment and you find another Rex, then you're dead again, and it's just not fun. I don't know, I like it a lot, but uh. Red Dead's a little more chill, and that tends to be my speed when it comes to games. TJ Riddle, thank you so much for the super chat, man. I really appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Canadian don't know. Holy. What's up, Hunter? Just getting back into Call of the Wild. Nice, dude. Makes sense. Getting into fall, getting into hunty vibes, I would say. T-Rexes are annoying. I mean, they're cool. I like them. The, the attack animation's kind of weird how they just make that strange hissing growl sound and run at you, but other than that, so as we're tracking this, right, we should find where I accidentally dropped a female, I think. Because it was after we initially hit it, unless it's down here further, which it could be. We're just tracking forever. Should be dead because it says tracking blood and not prey. Can you make this a video? I mean, the VOD of the stream will be up on the channel. I think it's pretty much immediately after the stream. Now, it used to take a couple hours, but I think YouTube kinda solved that or whatever. Something's running right there. Oh, the black buck are running right there, in fact. Well, that probably means our buck's not far, because if they were starting to turn around, yeah, I see him right there, I think. Is it? Nope, that is two sticks that look like black buck horns. Which was easier to hunt in the UK. 
Yeah, um... I know there's a lot of places where it's a lot more difficult to hunt, but... Like, I kind of get it. It depends on how ingrained it is into, into tradition and stuff. Like, if everybody does it, because here... I mean, they don't explicitly say that this is what it is, but the... It used to be when the opening day of deer firearm season was on a Monday. All the schools head off on Monday, and it was it's right after Thanksgiving, so it was kind of like, this is your Thanksgiving break, but uh, it was so everybody could go hunting because everybody was going to skip school anyway. Like, it's just part of the culture here more, right? I think that's a big part of it, where it's just not as much... I don't want to say culturally accepted, but not everybody does it, so... It needs to be more difficult, like, entry, I guess. The elusive stick in its natural habitat. Doing what it does best. Being a stick. Tips for geese with hunting pressure? You don't have to worry about hunting pressure. Uh, geese don't care about it whatsoever. They will come in in just the same numbers. They'll break, they'll fly down, they'll land. They are oblivious to it, as far as I'm aware. Where the heck is this doe at? Like, she dropped. It's gotta be right in this area. Find her, Asko. I don't know what's going on. I just want to know where we hit it, that's all. I don't really care to claim it. He's got it figured out. All I want is to know what happened. What? I messed up. What'd you do? Oh. I meant to say tall boy, not... I was so confused because I couldn't find where Bottom Boy said anything to deserve such things. Skip school today, my parents don't know. How could you? Oh yes, definitely meant to do that. Smoked. Intentional smokage, for sure. There are areas in the US where kids get a few weeks off for the rut of deer season. I think there are there are like certain schools that kind of have the brakes set up to be that way. I've I've seen or read about those kinds of things. I'm sure I deserved it. I mean, probs. Thanks for stopping behind the tree, my guy. Really appreciated that. Missed them both times. Wasting ammo on a level 2. When I shoot geese, I can't claim them? I tried that one time. Did you? But... I think I just did the cool for console and did the camera. And then I went back and then I could claim it eventually. But I noticed if I travel or something and they're out of quote, quote, render, I still can't. Okay. Well, I guess that's a thing. Have you been watching football recently? I have. Like, I haven't gotten to follow it like I usually do. I said it in a stream maybe the week before the season or something like that. Like, I always enjoy it so much. I'll watch whatever game's on, really. Like, I'm a Steeler fan, which has been a rough last three weeks. But, um, you know, I, I try to catch games, but just moving and all the stuff, hunting season going on, I haven't gotten to watch a whole lot of games. Watched most of the Steelers-Packers game... Watched a little bit of Chiefs Eagles. I got to see a little bit of the Patriots Buccaneers games. The Patriots are just right there all the time. But yeah, didn't get to watch nearly as much as I would have liked in the last couple weeks. Didn't have time off from school for hunting in Canada, but it was tradition that every day after school during grouse season, a bunch of us would go before doing homework. Yeah, I like that kind of stuff too. I know, like, I I remember hearing stories from, I think it was either like one of my uncles, it might even have been my dad that told this story, but where he went to school, he would be, like, the, the land he owns now is right there, not very far from the school, like, the bottom end of it. But anyway, like, they were in class, and they could see a deer up on the hill, and a couple of kids, like, teachers, like, yeah, go get them. So they went out to their trucks, got the rifles, and walked up the hill and tried to shoot a deer. Like, it just, that could never be a thing now, but 
I think that shows a lot of how much in a part of the culture it is that even in school they're like, no, yeah, that's the priority. Go shoot a deer. Don't worry about the lesson for today. Been out bow hunting yet? We have. Uh, opening day was the same here as well, Nathan. It was on Saturday. Got out Saturday evening and we had a pretty nice day. It was a, a nice evening. I try not to say much about what happened in any hunt, so I won't say much other than the fact that we saw a bunch of deer and it was a nice evening. Because, you know, there's IRL hunting videos to come from such things. I am not a good shot today. Well, only when they're moving, I guess. Impeccable, you say? 12 out of 12. 12 out of 12. Someone mentioned Patriots. Was it a good game? I didn't get to see the entire thing. The Buccaneers won, right? Was it a last second field goal or something, I'm assuming? Happy birthday, Bree. What animals are best to level up on? Geese on Hirschfelden, uh, Fallow on Te Aoroa. Species like that where you can just get a bunch of them in a short period of time. Geese, I would say, is best if you have the Goose DLC. But if you don't have that DLC, yeah, the fallow deer are going to be a really good one. You can, in two hours, you can easily kill like 50 or 60 bucks. I skip school to watch your stream? Well, I appreciate that. Just uh, don't, you know, don't get in trouble for doing such things. We got a picture of a nice 10 point at 6.18 p.m. about 50 yards from our stand. There you go. That's, so... Again, just moving probs and everything going on. I've got a camera out here, but I've only got one card for it at the moment. Actually, I was going to say I need to order another one so I can switch them. I need to order two. I kind of stole this from my brother, to be honest. I probably paid for it. But anyway, yeah. I need another card so I can keep cameras out. I'm not too worried right now. Um, it's more so in a couple weeks where I really want cameras out to see if any bucks are checking the does that are in this area, but yeah, we'll kind of see. Best spot on Parque Fernando for red deer? Probably the lake that I just fast traveled to, I would say. We're not going to see a bunch of red deer now because it's not their drink time, but this lake can easily have 100 total red deer drinking in it. Now you got to realize they travel in herds of about 30, so that might not sound as insane um, now as it originally did. Ooh, that's a nice fork. Nice tall fella. But anyway, yeah. Um, a lot of times you get a herd up in here where the mule deer are drinking. And you can easily have three herds across the southwest side over here. And I've shot a couple of diamonds and a couple of rares here. The melanistic uh, red deer hind that we shot kind of at night here on Parquet in a video not too long ago was at this lake. Look at all these mule deer right in here and they're all tiny well that's kind of the way around I want to go these ducks are just chilling we might as well try to get one of those guys maybe I mean that three is nice but is there any window to get a shot in there might be what is he doing there we go I need like his head down and the doe's head up of course cooperation level negative 12. Maybe this time they're a little bit separated. Okay. Nope. i just shoot the two. Call it a day. Eh, drop the two. I've noticed that lions get a lot of XP. Yet, the only thing is like since you don't get a lot of them in a short period of time it can be tough. And you need like a bigger weapon but if you've got the weapons for it and especially if you have some tents and can set them up can move pretty quickly through them. The most fun animal to hunt? I like wolves because they go aggressive and like even you can have the best weapons, you can feel like you're as experienced a hunter as there is in Call of the Wild and if you get a big enough pack of wolves or if they attack just right or if you get caught off guard they can still kill you. You say things I don't approve of. Trying to get my attention. Goodness. 
skip in school and liking drugs. What kind of... That's a good life going. Delinquent? <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. Chance of trail cams coming to the game? I really think we're going to see it eventually. Was it SRP, I think? Some of the missions were either to take down trail cameras or something. So they have the models already. They're there. I I do think it would be difficult to properly implement it because how you sort of have a thing take pictures of things that aren't rendered, like then the game's got to render more area. And if you look at it on console, it's already kind of laggy. Like I think that's where the potential issue lies. If somehow they can solve that rendering issue or optimize it better, then I think it would be doable. It would... They almost could sort of go to like a... online only sort of thing, kind of how Classic is, and I know they did a survey about that and the community was overwhelmingly against moving to online only. I'm like, I'm fine with it regardless, whatever, whatever they want to do. But if they did it that way, your trail camera could almost be set up as like uh, another player. If they rendered it in as such and then just gave them no spooking and face one direction and just take a picture every so often, it, it should be possible. I one shot a lion with a bow. That's one of the most fun things to do is bow hunt the lions. Quite enjoy that. There's these black buck down here. I think they're all commons, unfortunately. Lots of them, though, which is interesting. I used to only get, like, two here. Can we kill two? Getting... I've, I've done it a couple of times with bigger ones. Getting over two there is kind of a pain. Like, once you get over on this side, you start to have brush and, like, the hill and stuff kind of blocking them. So I'd rather take the longer shots. We're about where I'd like to be for the 243. Yeah, let's see if we can get... The two of them. I like those horns. They, they don't spiral much, but they're just nice and high. Should be three. Drop that one. That's a lung hit. And level four. I don't know, but I think we should have gotten him. He was the first one. It's bright pink. What is a trail camera? Essentially, like the best way I can kind of describe it, it's a camera that hang out on a tree that's motion activated. Um, it'll take a picture when it senses something go past it. And there's some people that are actually against that, but it's it's a form of scouting without having to actually be there, which can be pretty important. For something like Whitetail, for instance, they rely really heavily on their sense of smell, and if you're leaving scent in the same area going back to just scout there all the time, they're probably going to start to avoid that area, but if you could just leave a camera to take pictures and let you know what's there, you'll be better off. Not only going out for archery this year, this evening, if all goes to plan. If it stops randomly raining, I know. we'll be fine. I wonder what the radar looks like. You said it was just one small cloud, right? Literally, yeah. There's nothing else. There's Thank you, Joe. Pop-up showers. I have a... It'll be for you, mostly. I have a little camo umbrella in my backpack. Well, wow. keep you dry. No getting rained on today. Where do you want the next map to be? I really want another Africa map. I think it's about time. It's been since August 29th or August 30th of 2018. Since we've gotten a map based in Africa, I think we're about due for a new one. Just got a diamond moose with the bow last night. Nice, dude. I don't know if I've ever shot a diamond moose with the bow. I've shot some big ones. I shot a couple of... Oh, I think my first diamond with the bow was a moose, actually. I shot a couple of trolls, I remember, with, like, the recurve. That was annoying. Good times. A little small rack troll moose. Gross. Africa 2.0 would have me... So super hype. I was gonna say if they do it right, I'd have a hard time imagining a way they could mess it up. Unless they did like the most unpopular species, which would make no sense. If they did, I think hyenas are a must because so many people want them. 
maybe like Impala. They almost have to do Greater Kudu because a ton of people were disappointed in the Lesser Kudu. A predator species, like a bigger predator species than hyena, would be nice. I know people are going to want elephants and stuff. That might be why they've stayed away from it. Because they wouldn't want to deliver on that. Which I... I get that. But... I think we're... We're due. Look at that. Huge. Just absolute specimen. Still uneven though. I don't like the uneven ones. I'm looking at a six point Mjolnir IRL. Okay, since it's Mjolnir, I'm gonna guess here. When you say six point, do you mean six by six or do you mean three by three? Because I'm guessing you mean six by six. And if that's the case, that's huge. Usually Mjolnir, I think, or just talk about one side. You'd want greater Kudu? Yeah, same Carter. Leopards would be cool. Yeah, I think they could do leopards, right? They're not, like, endangered, or are they? I mean, they have lions, too, so who cares, really? But... I think when it comes to elephants and rhinos and stuff, it's a little bit of a different thing, because they're not, like, predators. Um... And then the other side of it is... In my opinion, the trophy lodges are a really big part of the game. And how you fit an elephant in a trophy lodge, like, they just have to do a new lodge, I think. The gazelle for sure. Scarecrow. Is that how you spell gazelle? I think it's... It's messing with my brain, so I need to type it out so I can... Is it like... That don't look right either. <laughs> well, I don't know. Holy, I forgot to like... It's alright. We won't fault you this time. Hyena, Impala, Leopard... Greater Kudu, Elan, Sable, Guinea Fowl. Yeah, they could do a small game with a Guinea Fowl. That would work. Leopards are most definitely huntable. There you go, then. Gazelle. Why does that look wrong when I type it, but it looks fine when you type it? <laughs> Maybe the capital G does it? I want to see a Canadian map in Alberta or Saskatchewan. So, like, genuine question... What would be, like, a new species we don't have in, a, in those regions? I know Saskatchewan has some huge whitetail, but we have whitetail, and, like, mule deer and elk and moose and all that. I believe Leighton Lakes is kind of like Western Canada. I think it's meant to be more Canada than the States, but, you know, you can say it's based on wherever you want it to be. I want a scar bear or a scar wolf. As a great one or just like a mission animal? Scar That would just be fitting. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Okay. That was a great. Okay. Glad we had this talk. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> How's the first day, Archer? It was good. Had a pretty good first sit. saw a buck which um for how long do you think we were watching that what a buck yeah well he was just watching us for like 10 minutes straight behind a tree was he looking at us because i couldn't see he was looking at me and okay I was looking at him. didn't know if he could see us or not kyla can read the chat by the way colin hi there you go but, uh, yeah, anyway, I thought it was the 10 point that we scouted a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, oh my god, I wasn't ready for this today, I wasn't ready to make this decision. So, there was a lot of intensity there, then I realized it's a 9 point, which is a nice buck still, but it's not quite... I'd like him to have another year. That's a 5? I guess. That is a small five. They had 5, oh hello. I found his small brother. <laughs> Get him in the lungs too. Cool. As a great one, the mission animals are cool and all, but not quite the same. Yeah, when when you're guaranteed to find it just by doing what they tell you to do, it is a little bit lame. I think that's probably some of the um, the 
concept of the great one still like a lot of people ask like what do i need to do to get a great one like it's not it's not a set of missions that you do then it shows up like you just gotta hunt and hope vultures cannot be hunted but they can be used to find your downed animal if you're struggling to track oh that's unfortunate jackson what's up nothing i see someone asked by the way if you hunt You don't know if you hunt? I haven't shot anything. I haven't had my own kill yet. Yet. But we'll change that this year. I'll go into plan. We gotta see... Um, Let's see if I can get that nine, since you don't want it. I... If there's a day this week where Dad's not hunting, I want to... We need to get you to shoot the crossbow. Okay, let me, let me explain this full situation here, because that probably made no sense. <laughs> The whole moving thing, you know, buying a house and all that. Uh, getting a crossbow at the moment would be a little... Pricey? A little pricey. They're not extremely expensive, but, you know, anything really at this point is... Uh, I guess it's a bigger deal than it would have been in the past. Maybe that's the way to say that. Anyway, Dad hunts with the crossbow because his back is so bad he can't draw a compound bow anymore. So if there's a day that Dad's not hunting, I want to take Kylo with the crossbow. I'll get behind the camera. And that nine point we saw, he's been out there in daylight for forever. But I knew Dad was going out the first day, so I, I couldn't be like, listen, I'm going to steal your crossbow and take Kyla. But as soon as he's not going, I, th I think that's what we're going to try to do. There's a there's a blind in there. It's in the right spot. If he does that same thing, and we do think he got spooked by a barn cat, actually. But if he would do that again, I mean, 15-yard shot? I know you can do it. It is a real good buff, though. I just... I don't know. You said it wasn't wide enough, right? If it was a little wider or if his main beams went out, I'd have a much harder time passing. And the other thing is, too, like, the, the big nine point that walked under my stand last year, like, right when I got there and I was still pulling my bow up into the stand, he's still... He's an eight point now, but he's still out there. And I'd rather chase him all year and fail or chase, like other bucks I guess all year in fail then shoot one really early on that I feel like is maybe not as good as I could have done so we'll see you're my idol you're my first gear that's the wrong spelling of idol <laughs> what my truck doesn't idle very well that black buck didn't die. What did I do wrong on that? I thought it was a good shot. I wasn't paying any attention whatsoever. What did you say, by the way, bottom boy? I didn't get to read that. Speaking of crossbows, I kicked the hornet's nest last night in the MH Discord. Oh, dear. Yeah, I know how that goes. There, I, I never can grasp that. Like, there's some people that are so against, like, crossbow hunting or hunting a certain way. I just don't understand where there's room to do that I feel like as long I guess maybe you think it's unethical I was gonna say as long as it's ethical hunting then you should be fine with it but if you're wow that was good if your viewpoint is that it's unethical I guess I don't quite get where that viewpoint could come from anyway what I was gonna say was there's enough like anti-hunting kind of stuff out there that I don't think any hunter should be kind of dismissing other hunters. They should add fishing. A lot of people want that. That should have been basically a diamond level 2. 0.46 kg. We got low trophy rating on that one. Not a big deal. Diamond cinnamon tealer. Pretty easy to come by considering we shot two in the same flock. I just realized that I was talking about in that promo video. Really like, I don't know last time we shot two diamonds in the same place. How about like earlier this week? Well, Cinnamon Teal don't even count. I'll have to go through and read that bottom book. Opinions on headshots in real life? 
my thing is that I don't think, for me, that I would be able to pull it off consistently enough to consider it ethical. Like, if you miss by much, you're probably going to get a pretty non-lethal, but pretty terrible wounding hit on the deer, whatever you're shooting. And that's not something you ever want to do. So in my mind, I wouldn't go for it. The only time that I've done it is like when I've spine shot a deer, I need to dispatch it quickly. Because then that's just the, the best way to do it. And you know they're not really going to move. I guess that's the difference. Like if they, one head bob, one head shake, and your shot's completely different. No, that's, that's being lazy and taking shortcuts because you use the crossbow. Carry one up into a tree stand once and see how lazy you think those people are. Those things, <laughs> walking to your stand carrying a crossbow is probably super underrated. They're so heavy and awkward. I don't like it. My birthday's tomorrow and I want to get a new map. What one should I get? Te Awaroa or Medved? Hmm. I'd say Te probably. What do you think? What? Between... Tay and Medved, which map should they get? Oh, Tay. Tay? We've come to a consensus. And happy early birthday, by the way. Can you hunt muskox in real life? Yeah, um, they're hunted. It's... Muskox hunt in real life is... From my understanding, kind of... The, the way that muskox kind of defend themselves is they huddle up real close and all hang out like in like a tight little group and the point is like they can fend off a predator or whatever but if you have a rifle then all you got to do is get one whatever you, like I don't know this part of it however you get them to separate enough so you're not shooting through one and hitting another but they don't flee from you from far away or anything like that. That's not how muskox are, so it, it wouldn't feel quite right to me. Unless you're a real good shot, or it's that kind of situation you mentioned, it's not the best. I've heard firsthand some horror stories of not good shooters taking headshots. Yeah, um... That's a big 4-axis deer. I've, I've heard some stories as well of headshots gone wrong. Like, I just... Going for one, it just doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me personally. Try carrying a crossbow with a climber on your back? Yeah, I'm sure that's not much better. I can't even, like, it is pointless for me to use a climber unless I take it to the stand and leave it. Or take it to the tree, rather, and leave it. Like, just carrying that the weight of a climber in I will sweat so bad that deer aren't going to get within bow range anyway, so I might as well stand on the ground. Can you hunt turkey with a bow? Like in game, or what you mean? I've got a terrible story about a headshot on a deer with a bow. Oh dear. I don't know if you guys ever watched, I know he, na chain he named the change of his channel, really? <laughs> He changed the name of his channel, but it used to be like howtohunt.com or something. And he had a story about trying to like frontal heart shot or just chest shot a moose with a bow. And he ended up like the moose went to do a little grunt and he basically shot it down the throat. And I swear he ended up killing it if I remember the story right, but that shot didn't kill it. Hey, look what time I'm changing from. Wow. Whoa. 912. Jared, thanks for renewing your membership, by the way. I do appreciate you. Never killed a deer in real life? Out of curiosity, because it, it's not uh, inherent in your comment chat thing there, do you hunt? Just, is it like a thing where you haven't had the chance yet, or is it where you haven't gotten to? Because I was going to say, I would recommend anyone like to get to go and do that. I think hunting for your own food is so underrated and underappreciated. When you 
finally get to like that point where it's you know on the dinner plate or whatever and it's all come full circle and you think you think back to all that stuff like all the work that went in I've been saying it for a long time too because I've been since 2018 I've lived on my own like every deer that I can get is helping with like groceries and all that kind of stuff and do I probably end up spending more money on equipment than the groceries maybe but then again yeah there's a little bit of getting the new bows for obsession and all that so it's, it's a little different than it would maybe otherwise be but anyway yeah like it helps in that aspect too especially like you can use your hand-me-down 30 out 6 or whatever like you don't have to always have the newest equipment it's just kind of the way it goes with having the sponsorship that we do and all that If you ever get in VR, there is a hunting game. What are... This room probably isn't even big enough for VR. It might be. With the desk in it and stuff, though. I'd have to... Have to find a way to do that. I'd like to. It seemed like a cool game, but... Just, uh... Limitations of space and time. But mostly space. Hunting's a cheaper hobby than cars or drugs, that it is. Cheaper and uh, more rewarding, I might say. No other black buck on that side. There's a mule deer coming down there. That's really cool. I like watching a buck and a couple of those kind of walk down this draw. Random little things that make me think of real life. Initial cost is higher, but you can reuse the bow and your arrow if you can find them after the shots. Yeah, true, true. It's a pretty thick, dark red puma out here somewhere. Um, as far as the time goes, because it was a 9.30 zone, he should still be here. He might end up down on that end if we spooked him. There's some buffalo. They're fleeing like they just took off. I wonder if that puma's about to round that corner. Something's right there. It's a buffalo. There he is, he's just a seven. Just a small lad. We'll try to get him too, though. That'll work. If Black Buck have Truac, why don't Kudu? Well, they are slightly different horns, so, like, eventually we'll get them. What was the last species to get Truacs? Was it Black Buck? It would have been, right? I think so. Um, and that was with the. Bloodhound DLC, so I would assume something in Varanga is going to be getting new true acts fairly soon. Only difference is not as dangerous, that too. Do you get the 300 candy magnum with Yukon? You do. What's up, Matt? Did you miss anything good? Uh, nothing special, right? No, not today. Not yet. Halfway through the stream, hopefully there's going to be something good. We have a lot of lakes to cover and a lot of places we have yet to check out. What is that name? <laughs> What's up, Owen? Wild dog hunting in Africa would be cool. Those part of the little dogs are vicious. Would be another potential species they could add. That would be... Is it dingoes? Is that what they're called? Or is that a different kind of thing? It's a seven red deer. No di double diamonds in the same herd yet? Yeah, true. None yet. Maybe there'll be something waiting on us. If they're going to add doll sheep, they should have their own map with mountains. I mean, they could kind of fit, maybe, on Yukon. Um, I don't know, bottom boy. <laughs> I, maybe they should do it differently, but there are only two variations. Almost every other one has three. Dingoes are different? Okay. Wait, is that Australia? I don't know. Yeah. I tried. Oh. 
Australia. Okay. I thought you said no. When Farming Sim 22 comes out, will you do a series on it? I'm gonna do something with it. I don't know about a series necessarily. Like I have, I feel like I could do decent-ish videos on Farming Sim, but the issue is, my understanding of it is like, it's kind of what the mainstream Farming Sim YouTubers do, and I don't want to just copy their style. And by the way, I've never seen a Farming Sim video, but I've been told about the way that they work, and that would be kind of like the way that I would like to do it. So if I could come up with something unique, maybe I would do some videos. There was a guy, by the way, I did see this in a Farming Sim video. He did, like, I think it was classic, but it was like hunting in the morning and then farming in the afternoon and then hunting in the evening or something. It was like, it was a like, pretty neat idea, but kind of combining games and that sort of uh, concept I thought was neat. I found one of your friends. Wow. I can't kill him though, because I'm a bad shot. There we go. It is just Instagram being bad today? Well, Instagram and Facebook are kind of linked, right? Yeah, they are. And WhatsApp, someone said too, and they're all linked. So that's probably why your phone's being weird? I was like, good, my phone's not having a stroke. I don't have to change. <laughs> Phone plans. <laughs> yeah, we were worried that your provider just didn't have as much service over here or something. Mm. Playing Farm and Sim right now. It's a fun game. I always end up like, I'll start on a map and I'll really like it, and then I'll get to a point where it's, you know, sustainable, whatever, and then I don't know like what upgrades to do other than getting more and more land. Then I start looking for DLC maps and then it sort of gets to that same cycle and then I just get bored. But I think we need a Kylo Wow alert. <laughs> yeah? For what though? Donos. No. Wow. <laughs> no. Awful. Twitch subs so they happen all the time. No. Twitch follows. Really, all the time? I don't want to hear my voice at all. I do. Blech. Blech. Goodness. You poor thing. Don't even get to hear your own voice. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. That's why I didn't watch the last the video from last night. I didn't watch that. No? Mm-mm. You watched, or no, that was the mountain goat thing. I thought that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> you just left a dead mountain goat littered there. Well, I forgot that I shot that, and then I saw some elk, and then I fast traveled because it was running, and I didn't feel like running all the way around the lake, and then I just forgot to go back down to it to get the goat. Was that because, yeah, 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 so much, that was the night before hunting season, so much stuff was going on. How many golds do you have? Uh, quite a few. I don't think the number's quite right. This says 11,000. Silvers would have been counting as golds for like, I don't know, three weeks or a month or something. So, maybe in the 10,000 range, but a decent amount. I don't know where doll sheep would fit on Yukon. Up in the, um, like the far north. It's pretty mountainous, like where the railroad tracks are. The hoodies are comfy, they sure are. Well, I don't know if it's mine or yours, but... Oh. I, I mean, I looked at your Teespring hoodies and they're good quality, too. True, we need to eventually figure out some other designs there. We were talking about it that one day and I got all, like, into it and then I changed a little bit of it because, like, the shoulder design thing was too big. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that was it. Resized stuff. Yeah. Should we make a video on duck hunting in, in this game? Duck hunting in Call of the Wild just doesn't really work right. I do want to do a duck hunting video in Classic one of these days, but... I don't know. I only do, like, one Classic video a week, and... 
when I get to that point, like most of the time I want to go after Whitetail again, see if I can get a 200, which is just, you know, wishful thinking on a whole other level, but it ain't gonna happen if I don't hunt them. So I don't know. Just got the notice, but if you didn't get to see the Pat McAfee show today, the first five minutes that AJ joined the show, maybe the hardest I've ever laughed. They eviscerated Urban Meyer. Oh dear. Well, the Siciliano thing is probably the hardest I've ever laughed. <laughs> they were just smoking him, but then saying they were on his side. It's such an entertaining show. I'll have to check that out. I saw they have a clip that said like they did not show this on national TV and then it's from the Steelers Packers game so I want to see what that's about too. Where are you? Warning calling at me like that. Show yourself. It's hiding really really well because I don't see it. Wearing my shoes to army shirt. Today that's cool winners. I actually wanted to get another one of them. I need to Rep it. I like that one. Just a simple design. Simple, but it works in my opinion. Well, this lake is a disappointment. There's like there's a buck over there. We know that. But like where? I don't know. Perhaps we'll check there in a bit. We actually need to check the better black buck spot at this lake. We didn't do that. It's not as long a clip as that, but they go as hard. I gotcha. They keep on... The Jags keep making me think they're going to win. And their team, because they were 1-0 and then dropped their last 15 last week, they're in a position where they could end up taking the NFL record for the longest losing streak. And they keep on getting ahead or playing close in games where I'm like, nah, they're going to they're gonna win this one. Like, they were out 14 nothing on Cincy, and then they lost that game. Oh, is that so, bottom boy? When did you start playing Call of the Wild? I got started at the very beginning. Um, so I was doing classic content in 2015 and 16. In late 2016, there was like a, a beta thing for Call of the Wild. And the way they did it was like almost like a lottery draw. It's like you put your email in and there was a chance you would get a code and an opportunity to kind of beta test the game. And um, I was just a small lad at the time, so I didn't just like automatically get one. They didn't just give me one for being a classic YouTuber. But, and yeah, and I didn't get my name drawn in the lottery either. So uh, what ended up happening was a viewer put in like five of their emails, which I didn't even know you could do that. Not that I really would have, but they got drawn for two of them and they gave me one of the codes to actually get to do a little content on the game so I did only one video I think on the beta because my internet was so slow at my parents by the time I downloaded it the beta period was basically over but yeah December of 2016 I even got to play a little before the actual release we'll figure it out Kyla don't you worry she left so now I feel like I need to address her and say her name since I can't look at her she got tired of us, ran away. Chess takes over merchandise lane. Are you running back? <laughs> I skipped that one stair. Oh, I thought you wanted to. Better jump, okay? I thought you wanted to address something. I could. I don't know the fact that you stood up and moved the air around. I could smell the campfire smell in that chair now. See what you're dealing with? Yeah. Goodness. Call of Wild needs a map in Asia? Yeah, there's a lot of game species in Asia that they could potentially throw in a map like that. Should be some black buck here. I think this is where we had the the clutch level five on the last black buck stream. What's up, Fly? There's one. Chilling somewhere up there. Tornado. Is that what that was, or was that a? It's a siren. It is a siren. Well, the first, the first week of the month, you think they do the testing? They might. 
I heard it one other time, but it was just like that, like just one... Nope, it is doing it again. Listen, in Georgia this means we got some bad weather, so I don't know what these sirens mean out here. That's a different sound than the one that I'm used to back in, uh... I almost said where I was from. <laughs> I usually don't like to say that. Back around my apartment area. So I don't know. But yeah, I have heard that before and there wasn't a tornado coming through, so I think we're okay. Hopefully we live. There we go. Small guy. Does Kyle have a PC? Not yet. We'll get there. Psycho wants to make me one. Yeah? What a kind lad he is. Oi! Dog's attacking. The Getting Rich merch store? Wait, where did that come from? Is that taking over? Yeah, I see. I got you. Do you think they should add more animals to Africa? I think they should do another map. Varanga has nine or ten species. I would try to list them all out, but I'll definitely forget one. Like, it's pretty full. I think they need another map. What's up, David? Add wood ducks to Layton? Or if they make another North American map, they should add them to that. They would really make a nice looking trophy in the lodge. Yeah, that was one of the... So if I'm thinking of the right uh, duck species, that was one of the things I liked a lot about Cinnamon Teal originally. They have that, like, super shiny blue patch. And don't wood ducks have, like, some nice blue coloration in their feathers? I think that's the case. No storms. We're gonna live today. 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 Don't know about tomorrow. You never know about tomorrow. That's why you gotta make the most of it. You're into a tree again. I just wanted to make the most of it. <laughs> uh -huh. So I ran into a tree. I wanted him to feel safe. I'll get him a hug. You're not gonna get blown down by a tornado today, little buddy. You seem like a guy from Michigan. You seem like a guy from Michigan. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Why do I seem like a guy from Michigan? Because I shot once, and I missed, and I shot again, and I missed again? Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. You're doing great. Why? Keep it up. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You didn't like that one, did you? No, because I clearly didn't laugh. I thought you maybe forgot to laugh. It's so funny, you just... So funny, I forgot to lie. <laughs> you got me. Gotcha. Golly. You like that word, huh? Maybe. Southern word. Southern word. I don't hear people up here saying that. Well, I don't want anybody thinking I'm from Michigan, so I'm trying to... <laughs> so you're going to say golly as... <laughs> oh, no. No, what you're going to get is... You have a sketch southern accent when you start saying golly. Gonna get accused. Once I start saying y'all, oh. that's when that's when we're in trouble. It's y'all, huh? It's yins if you're from around here. Oh, no, I ain't saying that. My mom, she doesn't say it almost ever, but she texts it for some reason. Why Y I N N No, Y I N C is what she types. Hmm. It's rather odd. What was your first diamond? A red deer. Yes. It's a neat first one. Just got on, just got Rancho and it's great. It's a good map. I like it. It's kind of, ooh, nice four axis here again. It's kind of highly populated in some areas and dead in others, but not bad. Oh. <laughs> I'll wait for the alert to actually come up. They should put Montana in the Hunter. Silver Ridge Peaks is kind of uh, that area. That's a five old axe here too. It's a pretty nice one. Um, I cannot say my name because my mom. Listen, I get it, man. I feel it. Thank you so much for the super chat. You've helped me with so much. I'm glad, dude. Glad to be able to help. Nice little pie. Talking about rare axes here and stuff earlier. It's Blackbot coming in too. What was I? Oh yeah, has any fan came up to you? Yeah. Um, I was going to the airport one day. And this 
blonde girl just came running up to me, got my truck and everything. Wow. Wow. What a crazy chick. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It was Kyla. I was going to pick her up. It was, it was arranged. Stranger danger action. How many? So there was Psycho as well. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Met him recently. That's about it, huh? Pretty much. Uh, well then. You need to do a mod meetup. A mod meetup? I don't want to have to see Aaron. <laughs> Not even here for me to Rude. smoke him. How could I? It's messed up. How could you? Have you watched the new episodes of Meat Eater? Yeah, we we binged them all in one. The one night that I was in Georgia, we watched them all. <laughs> My man, Big Man. <laughs> Yikes. I'm making all the sounds over there. Oh, yeah? <laughs> There's your channel idea. Oh, no. Bottle cap ASMR. I'm so sorry that I didn't make the right sound with your bottle cap. <laughs> Can someone put the merch link in the chat, please? Wow. I guess I can try. Which one? Good question. Is Kyle my girlfriend? She sure is. I just did exclamation mark link. link. <laughs> You're doing great. Uh, <laughs> send help. <laughs> yes, for the link, that's the command. <laughs> you wanted the link, right? Good job. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's always fine. I don't think I went here yet. What? He might have heard a fire truck or whatever. That's probably what that was. Wow! Link! Playing Zelda out here. Is there only certain racks you can shoot for the Great One? I mean, the Great One's got a limited number of possible racks, if that's what you mean. The first new episode of Meteor, Meteor was amazing. Do you remember what the first one was? Oh, it was the Luke Combs one. That was good. It was kind of awkward, though. Like, I love Luke Combs, and I love everything about Meteors, but that was just... I don't know. Like, at first, it seemed just a little awkward to me. I've never got the impression that Luke Combs is, I don't know, he's not like an all about me guy, so I, he might have just been awkward meeting him and He's whatever. like, I'm waiting for your reaction so I can show my yeah. or something like that, like after he shot. I was like, this poor guy, like, get pumped. Didn't even know if he was allowed to be happy that he just dropped a pronghorn. It was cool though, I want to do that. Is your girlfriend a hunter too? I think we can officially say yes, even though... What's your answer usually? Like you haven't gone for a while or something? You haven't shot anything? I haven't shot anything, but like I've been in the stand, I've been prepped and ready, but I haven't been confident enough to take a shot. Like I'm not gonna injure an animal just because I want to say that I've shot something, you know? Like I want to feel good about doing it, so. Yeah. I haven't had that opportunity yet. I think having climbed in, into a stand for even filming purposes this year, that counts as hunting. You got to feel that Luke was a fake country boy? Where's he from? Is he North Carolina or South Carolina? Yeah, I thought North. I don't think it was fake so much as I think... Probably wouldn't end up living in that world. Because there's a Thomas Rhett song, I think. That's kind of like, you get away from all that stuff. Like, you get used to recording studios and just all, all that stuff going on. He probably almost felt out of his element, even though it would have been back in. Does Kyla live with you? Uh, What's the correct word? What, temporarily? Currently, temporarily. For the fall pretty much. Yep. 
Then she's going to run away. For business purposes only. Business only. Business only. Always. It is a good song, Bottom Boy. Welcome back, Blitz. Country again. Yeah, that's the one. See? You guys know. I can just make vague references and wait for you guys to tell me what I'm talking about. What's up, Bass Fishing? I love your videos and I'm sub. Well, I appreciate that. How do I get your gun? Okay, do you mean like the one I'm using in the game, or do you by chance mean like Bottom Boy, the little gun by his name? Curious which one you mean there. Sounds good, Gavin. Good luck. Hope it goes well. Someone shot your level 3 turkey with a 7 mil. That's terrible. The drawbacks of playing multiplayer sometimes that kind of stuff can happen. What did I have? Oh, yeah, yeah. So th there was a Quattro video I did. It was the one with the Diamond Ibex as the first kill. I found a max weight melanistic wolf track. And I was like, this could be amazing. We have a gray and winter diamond wolf. And we could get a melanistic diamond wolf to go in that multi-melt. Like, that could be incredible. So I spent like 45 minutes tracking this thing. Game was crashing just like every 12 minutes. I had to keep on rejoining. And one of the times my game crashed... Somebody like went over to the spot where I was and I was like, all right, I'm not going to just leave it. So I'm going to go over here, but I'm not going to say anything because he's a host now. So if I say, hey, there's a melon, it's like a wolf I'm tracking. I figure I'm going to get kicked. And yeah, I, I ended up watching him shoot it right in front of me. It was a, it was a mythical, by the way. It was not a super rare, but still would have been a cool trophy to get. All this hunting talk makes me sad. Makes you sad. Got to get pumped, my guy. How do I get higher level faster? Um, goose hunting is probably the fastest way. Fowler deer hunting on Te Aoro is a pretty good one. I mean, generally just shoot as many animals as you can. It'll help you along. Somebody asked how much money I have. Uh, just under 11.8 mil. We're going to get to that all 12 number. It's going to happen. I'm determined. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, like I want to get... I want to do a video trying to get... 12, 12, 12, 12. How many 12s there should be in that? I don't know. But I don't know what to do after that. Like, look, I did it. Okay, bye. Just asking, how does it get your gun in the game? Like the 303? Maybe? It Like, I'm using a couple of different weapons here. The 338 championship that I'm using on, like, big game. That is from the Stone Circle Challenge here on Parquet. There's 15 stone circles around the map that you gotta go to, shoot a target, and uh, you gotta do that like with the mission active. If you do it with the mission inactive, you gotta go around and get close to the stone circles again so they check off. Um, there's like Steam guides out there how to do that. If you want the 303, that is a part of the Te Aoroa DLC, I think. That's the gun that we just shot the red deer with there. 243 is a base game gun, and 22 is a weapon pack 1 DLC. I'm sure I'm in the minority here, but I'd like to see a video of stuff like that happening to you. I enjoy when you include those little mishaps, because a glimpse behind the curtain. That's what you've said. Which thing was I referring? I forget what I said. Video-wise, what I mean is just like the run around. Like if things go wrong, then we can see that you're having these issues too. Or like, oh, I missed a shot, or blah blah blah. Like I know that's what streams are for, and it shows all that. Yeah. But I guess sometimes in videos, it makes you seem perfect. To I get all this cool stuff, and people almost forget that you have to struggle too. Yeah. Like you got to work for it, and people in the videos just see you getting all the school stuff. That's what's hard to capture because there's two sides of YouTube. There's the side of like you want it to be real and you want people to understand like you know what's going on you want to capture the story correctly. A big factor on YouTube is watch time, watch time percentage and what I don't want to do 
is include four minutes of me missing and tracking and trying to find this thing. Unless it's a diamond, then I think it's a little more... I don't know, it's just building intensity. But if it's some random thing that doesn't really matter, I usually won't include it because some people are just gonna click away because they don't want to watch me track this thing. Like, it's such a tough balance to strike. If you meant bloopers and stuff, um, I do want to do stuff like that. Like, I have... I don't know, I'll get something in my head that I want to do, and then if it ends up not working, I, like, a lot of times stop and have to, like, try to redo it. Like, uh, what, what was the thing? Yeah, the beginning of that SRP video, Kylo was goose hunting? Yes. And, like, I went to shoot this mule deer, and I, like, pulled up the gun and everything, and I was like, wait, that's a 22, that ain't gonna work. Couldn't find where my 303 was or anything. Do you have social anxiety? Absolutely. All the time, such strokes. Phone calls are my worst nightmare. I actually, I still have to cancel the electric from the apartment, by the way. Oh my I gotta do that. Yikes. Hmm? Someone said I'll find Ah, that was a... It was a dilute. Can you do a video hunting deer on Layton? I'm sure we'll go back to Layton sometime in the fairly near future. What's up, Lou? Day's been pretty good. We're uh, just kind of, what, getting into the back bit of the stream here before hopefully we're going hunting here in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Social anxiety is a blast. That's why you just go at it together. At social situations. Uh -huh. Where's your mind at? I'm just saying, it didn't sound. Well, you don't go at it, but I guess you could. Never mind. Wow. So, anyway. <laughs> you did this. I didn't do anything. If it was, it's not gonna be just me that thought like that, okay? Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, now everybody thinks it. Whoops. Thanks to just you, so. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> not so. <laughs> what? Nothing. I'm just reading some comments. Oh, I see. Are you hyped for Alton hunting? I wouldn't say I'm hyped. I'm excited to see like what's there, but until I know more, I'm just kind of waiting. When would you take brain shots? In Call of the Wild, never, because it pretty much is, uh, it's just you. <laughs> it, almost all the time you're going to shoot the skull and lose the the trophy or whatever, but in real life, yeah, also basically never. I don't know why I didn't just answer that in one. Even great. You should use the Samsung frowning mode, it's better. The what? The one that I use with the, the big eyes. You can't use it in YouTube. What's up, Johnny? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It was funny! It was. <laughs> I wasn't laughing. I was saying woe to what he said, not your reaction. Uh -huh. Don't take it so personally, all right? Whatever. Golly. <laughs> <laughs> what, Rex? Had a five medium mountain goat troll. Mountain goats like to troll a lot, unfortunately. It's a little frustrating. Kyla is forgiven. Yeah? I have people on my side, okay? Twelve people? Mm, probably not that many, but it's fine. <laughs> At least you called me on it. I say, like, a lot of times I'll say stuff, and then it'll sound... Like, I... I think I've gotten pretty good at avoiding saying things that could be taken the wrong way, because you can't... Once you say it on stream, you can't take it back, so you just gotta get used to thinking about what you're going to say. Because if it ends up, you say the, the real wrong thing, you get cancelled and then you're, you know, working in the dish room again. But, uh, at least you called me out so I can get better at it, I guess. Can we calm down? We're at a 12. I'm going to take it down to a 2. Lame. Lame. Sounds boring to me. Bob Ross, we're going to take some happy little shots. Every dead mule deer needs a friend. Shoot two of them. 
we need a weapon pack? I want a long range pack. Like one gun, a spotting scope, and a big rifle scope. Hello. I was sure that was going to be a male duck. Are all male ducks called drakes, or is it only male mallards that are drakes? And then which ones are Josh's? Wow. <laughs> Sweet, honey. So clever. Yeah? <laughs> you make me feel so appreciated. <laughs> How do you turn on night vision in your binoculars? Uh, it's a it's a uh, different set of binoculars. If you buy the high tech pack DLC, it comes with the night vision binoculars, the couple of bows. I don't know why they're high tech to be completely honest, and a night vision scope as well. All drakes are bad. I think all male ducks. Okay. What? What I miss? I disagree with what he says. Not just ducks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Quite alright. Little, old dumb on that one. <laughs> Don't mind me. That they are. I have a vid ID. You can only use two guns. Any. Any your choice, maybe? Let me use two guns. Could I use multiple ammo type? Because something like the 9.3 or a crossbow or something would kind of let me do that. Where did... Where's that red deer I was going to get on my way through? I thought. Well, I've entirely lost it. Yeah, maybe we'll see it when we go this way. I don't know. I love when I guess commands and it works out. I mean, they're made to be, you know, easy to remember, easy to kind of guess what they should be, but sometimes, I guess my line of thinking, probably a lot of times my line of thinking doesn't add up with most people's. My brain's special. Only mallards or drakes. Only ducks with green heads. <laughs> you got me in a hunter and made me better? Well, good. Glad to get to help. There's a... Wow, that's an absolute... What is this? You're so small. This is where the group of bachelor chonk muldeer hangs out. A sexy voice, you say. I don't know about that one. Shrexy. T Rex? No? My voice sounded like a T Rex, that would be pretty unfortunate. The guitar on this song? Well, I can't hear it, but um, I'm gonna take your word for it. Member join button. Hashtag 12. All the commands should actually have a 12 in it. That would definitely not get annoying at all. No? Never. Not even a little bit? Well, I thought they were going to be Black Buck on this side. That really didn't pan out like I thought. Okay, bye. Oh dear. Shutting the door at all. Look at her go. She's a professional. Ever been to hunt in Sweden? I've never been able to, unfortunately. Maybe one day. Ah, I feel all alone. I gotta check the weather on my own to see if uh, hunting here in yeah, about an hour is gonna be reasonable. Shows. Am I on tomorrow now? Yeah. Shouldn't rain anymore. Hopefully it doesn't. Quest hunt a lioness and a lion only with a shotgun. Well, in order to pass the proper ammo harvest check, I would need to do it with 
the 10 gauge, which I've, I've shot lines with it before. It's not a bad gun. That could be a thing. Your voice is meant for this game. It's very relaxing. Well, thank you. Nothing happening here. Alright, uh, well, a couple of things. There's one male black book. I guess we ought to go and get that. I was gonna say we can reset the time, but we can go and try to smoke that first. Watch out, Flinter's about. Holy. It's my first deer season in real life. Nice, Jed. Good luck to you. How goes the hunt on Parquet today? It's been pretty good. Nothing really super special. We shot, I think, one or two piebald axis deer, but, you know, that's not exactly something I'd consider a rare. Other than that, I don't remember shooting anything all that special. There's been a bunch of golds, um, you know, to be expected. Shooting some Yoldir Deer and Black Buck for respawns one of these days. Did you miss anything? Nothing really there, Steer. Band who ever excessively uses caps? Caps get you slapped. 12 out of 12. Are albino axes deer still rare? Yeah, albinos and melanistics are, at least as far as I know, still, like, properly rare, but piebalds are just pretty common, unfortunately. Intensively stares. Don't scare it. Poor thing. They really need to fix access piebalds. So, uh, there's been, I forget if it was on stream, but somebody asked him about it. And it's, it's intentional. There's another male black buck back there. Um, they're going off like the, the rates in real life. I don't think it's necessarily the same. Like, let's say, I think piebald whitetail in real life or something like one in a thousand or one in ten thousand like it might not be the same spawn rate in call the wild as like the whatever birth rate i guess in classic but or in real life classic what am i saying let me try that again the rate of piebald deer in real life might not be the same spawn rate they use in call the wild but it should correlate i think is what they're doing I always feel the pressure when Kyla takes a break. You gotta, gotta pick it up. I don't know what she's got going on. Hopefully everything is okay. Facebook and all of its other apps are down currently. Essentially the world's ending and um, I'm live streaming it so that the aliens uh, can tap into the, the internet one day and uh, get to figure out what happened. I mean, I assume the world's ending if Facebook and everything's dead. Have they made any posts about it? I assume they would. Excuse me, sir. Your large buffaloness is blocking my shot. Would you like to turn? How could you explain your great one? Uh explain it in what sense what you mean eventually he's gonna turn sick this time less than two percent of white tailor pie bulb that's actually a higher percentage than I would have guessed where are you going you just you just over it you done all right well that worked pretty good oculus is also completely down it's funny there's random days where this kind of stuff happens. How are they going to post about it? Well, I thought they'd have an account somewhere. Reports on Twitter? Yeah, good enough. They, they can probably put out a statement through the White House if they want to. Do you play on online servers? I actually do quite often. I do a pretty good amount of multiplayer, like a lot of videos I actually do in multiplayer, it's kind of a thing of like trying to have a chance to see in new animals, like you get used to seeing the same stuff on your single player maps all the time, so switching to multiplayer can be a nice way to kind of, 
I don't know, spice it up a little. This is going to be interesting. So those buffs are going to be charged into the spot where we fired from. So I would like to shoot them on their way by. Because they're just going to keep charging us and running after us if we don't. I hear one. Hello. Oh god. Didn't work to plan. Didn't think he was going to run right there. Yeah. Well, that level 5 might come and meet us. We'll see. Mud hugs. Bottom boy is an absolute champion. Can you imagine if like everything went down for a whole day? YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, all the internet? I mean... I guess... Assuming like texts and calls and such were still a form of communication, like word would kind of get around. But I feel like so many people rely on some form of internet, social media, whatever, to get their news that a lot of people just wouldn't even know. They would assume like their internet's broken or something. Most people would lose their minds. Yeah, or that. Doing great over there. That would be a depression. No. Can you explain why I suck at Call of the Wild? I'm sure you don't. What's up? No? Is it? Yeah. Lame. Think we're gonna get to go? It's like not even raining that bad, and all of a sudden it just starts somewhat pouring ish vibe, and I'm like, hmm. Quite trash. Quite trash indeed. What's up, Billy? Nice little gold. 12.22. Alright, we're going to do a little time reset for the last 15 minutes here. Every time I look at the weather, it says it's not going to rain anymore. I don't yeah. understand why they don't like us. What is the meaning of life? 12. 12. 12. If you align your align your mind with the ways of the twelve, you'll soon find that everything's just gonna work out better. Who's that in the background? A stalker. Well <gasps> Get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some Hunter Classic stream Wednesday night there should be one. We had to skip last week's cause I was not here, but Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. I hope that's going to work out. Um, what if you get something? So we're staying here Wednesday? Yeah. Oh. Um, if if we get something, we could track it afterwards, too. But we shouldn't really do that. It'll probably just be a thing like, sorry, no stream, we shot it there. I don't think that's... I don't think anybody's going to be like, how dare you? Because a lot of people like to see this stuff. So it should be okay, but... Um, legal light should end at 7. It's going to be a rush kind of thing. I'll have to have the stream set up before. But it ought to be okay. Picture isn't right. Do you have a Halloween picture? Should change mine. Halloween theme. What would Billy be for Halloween? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that wouldn't be good rain like that with the camera. That's how I got my my first camera drowned in turkey season. My asshole was growling at something. PC or controller? I'm on PC. I almost said controller for some reason. That would have been a lie. Most underrated map? Most underrated map. A lot of people I've heard say they just hate Yukon, they can't stand it, whatever. And I think Yukon's one of the best, so it might be one of the most underrated. I think Hirsch is pretty underrated, even by me. I just can't can't enjoy that one as much. It's really raining again. I don't know what we're gonna do. Your thing didn't update? What'd you make it? That ghost thing. Okay. 
Do you know what Destiny 2 is? I mean, I know of it. It's pretty much the extent of it. Kind of same answer to have you ever played COD? Like, I, I have played it, but not enough to tell you anything about what I did. It was, it was like one of the old, old ones. Two, I think. Ooh, I like it, Billy. Would be Pumpkin. He might be on PC, because um, you gotta like sign out and sign back in, I think. I don't know if you know your, your thing. I met your Halloween name specifically, Billy. It is a good one. You tell him. Get it together. Layton is overrated? It might be. Billy's on mobile. Well then. Favorite sport? I'd say football. Unless hunting counts. I don't know. Depends on what you mean by that, I guess. How do you keep your gameplay interesting? I try to switch it up a lot. Um, it's just pouring rain again. Welp. We'll have to see. Anyway. Like, you'll notice in a lot of videos, like, I'll switch the loadout that I'm using, or, you know, I try to switch maps a lot. I try not to do a lot of the same thing. It's still not working, huh? Billy is the season. Ridiculous. Welp. Nice, Neo. When does the call out come to switch? Uh, considering how hard of a time it has running on consoles, not so sure about that one. Your Steelers seem 3 of 12 this season? What? This year? I don't know what you mean. 3 of 12? 3 out like a... 3 out of 12? Can you show us your settings and explain why you have them that way? My settings? Do you mean like my skills and perks? Because my settings are just like the ultra graphics. Uh, Jaden, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Been making a lot more hard shots since I started watching. That's cool, man. That's something I've started to focus on, like, more. It's, su it's sunny and raining. It's Florida. <laughs> Might as well be. Anyway, I started focusing on that more the last, like, six, seven months. That's cool to see. Kill Bill. Kill Billy. Don't kill Billy, though. Killy Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Get out there, biggest buck I've ever seen while hunting was in the middle of the pouring rain. Never came close enough for a recurve shot, unfortunately. The only thing, like, I'm not afraid of hunting in the rain. I'll sit in the rain all day. Uh bringing Mr. $2,000 camera out in the rain after I drowned one this year already. That is not good. No, Angry Broad, I, I think... I'm not going to say the Steelers would have won that game. They couldn't stop the Packers' offense. But if everything else stays the same, it's 24-24 at the end because you would need to take a field goal away from the Packers and add a touchdown to what the Steelers ended up with. Wasn't it 27-17? They weren't offsides. And the Packers did, there was a, that tripping call on TJ Watt. He definitely, that was the tripping. But, um, yeah, that, that offside should not have been called. I'm not sure what that was. I have a way with names that you do. Just changed my profile picture? I can't, it looks like you're sitting behind an animal of some kind. Browns fan, Browns are looking good this year. I might finally be able to take them seriously. Like, even the last couple of years when they've been good, it's just been like, they're the Browns, they're going to screw something up. But I think they, they might actually have something together finally, so... Because, like, the, the Ravens I've always, you know, taken seriously, whatever whatever the heck that means. Um, but the Browns weren't quite in that category. They might, they might have finally broken that 
barrier of just expecting them to be terrible. Which map would you recommend for a fresh start right now? I guess it depends on what maps you've been hunting. When you say fresh start, do you mean starting over at level 1? If that's the case, uh... Tay was good for you, right? Yeah, but I was just shooting that True. I mean, Parky is a pretty good start over map, I think. I don't know. Ooh, that might have been low. Goodness. I think the starters get Parky, not the Yeah, there's a lot of big legs, huh? Biggest year of shots in 11 point? Not bad, Owen. How many hours do you have? Uh, 4,739. My hours have been down a bit the last couple of weeks because of moving and being in Georgia and all that. But still slowly racking them up anyway. Raiders fan. What's their record now? Did they win? Did they beat the Dolphins? I think the Dolphins beat them, right? Nothing in the NFL makes much sense this year to me. Like, the Jets beat the Titans, and the Giants beat the Saints, but then the Saints killed the Packers, and then... I just don't get it. Look at this guy. An old taken flight fella. Park is really hard without tents. Yeah, a lot of the best spots are pretty far from outposts. I'll give you that. That's a good point. Billy Dilly, the Eagles fan. Is he an Eagles fan? I haven't been told about such things. Don't be dumb and you won't be banned. It is, it is pretty... Pretty simple like that. Flair got his channel back? I wasn't aware Flair lost his channel. I know there was the hunting channel thing, but he wasn't hit by that, right? Sit down, sir. Is not an Eagles fan, maybe just being an Eagles fan scary. What's up? It's like blue skies out there. I know, it doesn't make any sense. I think we gotta go. We're going regardless. We'll, we'll I'll just, have the we'll, umbrella thing set up for you. We'll film with a GoPro and call it a day. Zoom in with Speak my phone of that. camera. Don't let me forget, I've got the, the cards sitting right here. I gotta oh, yeah. bring them down with me. I do think, like, there's a chance... If the deer are better than just getting rained on over and over, they're gonna wanna get up a little early and go feed and get out of like the brush, or whatever they're laying in. There, there might be something going on. Flare was not efficient. <laughs> I'm not efficient either. I know what you meant, by the way. The Rams cards game surprise? Wait, what happened in that one? I missed more football this week than I have in a long time. I don't know scores. I don't know what happened. What do I do if my whole game reset randomly? You could try contacting support, see if there's anything they can do for you, but there's there's not a lot to do. Grab a big Ziploc bag with the camera. I have a rain cover. Um, so I was, I was talking about it earlier. When you're self-filming, like the camera's far away from you, usually, and you just gotta be able to see to that little uh, viewfinder screen. When someone else is filming, they're able to have it close, they're able to move around a little more, and it's easier to film with a cover over that screen. Like, it's still a see-through cover, but... I don't know. You know, you're sitting up in a tree half the time, the sky glare on that cover. If you're very far away, you can't see it. Like, I think we'll be able to manage. Cards thump the Rams, 20... Or not even 20, 37, 20. I thought I'm saying, like, nothing makes any sense. The Rams have looked amazing. The cards look good, too. A special 12-hour stream today? You just don't want us to hunt. I see you. Rude. Wait all year to go hunting, and then you just want us to stay inside like little lamos. Big sad, no 12 stream yet. We'll do, like, I, I need to figure out this internet situation, too. Like, it's it's been fine today. We haven't dropped a single frame. The last two streams combined, we dropped, like, something like 20,000 frames, which is way too many to be dropping if you're streaming consistently. So I need to figure out that whole situation. What's up? Oh. Cowboys winning the Super Bowl, so it's all for naught. 
yeah, they've confused the heck out of me too. Like they're good and then all of a sudden they're not good. They don't look as good. They might like they've they've got a decent roster. What's which digs is it? It's not Quandre, right? It's um It's not Stefan either. Is it Quandre? I think there's three of them. Whatever that defensive bag that keeps making interceptions over and over, that guy's been really clutch for them. Oh, going to women. Gazelle. <laughs> From way earlier in the stream, I like that. Just chilling on screen there. Oof. Okay. Don't know how we did that, but I'm not going to complain. Guy's just going to run. We'll go for it. They have the roster. They do not have the coaching. Trayvon Diggs. Is there three brothers then? Because Quandre Diggs is in the NFL, right? Big fan. First time catching live. Welcome, Panther. Glad you can make it to the stream. Which map would you suggest I suggest to get? I have Medved and Silver Ridge Peaks. Rancho or... Hmm. Maybe Quattro? With those two maps, Quattro will get you a lot of new species you could hunt. When's the stream gonna end? I just got here. Eh, a couple of minutes. Three, four minutes. I'm a happy Raiders fan. I don't blame you. That, I really feel like there's been like a change of the the best teams recently. Like you don't for the last ten years it's felt like it's been a lot of the same teams that have been the most dominant and you're seeing some of those teams kind of start to not be there anymore. Bill's Super Bowl. The only team the Steelers to beat is like one of the best in the leagues. That's that's Steelers for you right there. Beat the Bills and then lose to who was it? The Raiders. They're like the Raiders, the Bengals, and the Packers are all decently good teams. Which gives me some hope that the Steelers aren't that bad. But yeah. I don't think there's much hope for a uh, Super Bowl run. Maybe like a seven seed. We'll see. They're not winning the division. Just goofed. <laughs> Just Googled, apparently Quandre isn't related to Stefan and Trayvon, I thought they were too. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. There's a bunch of brothers in the NFL now. I feel like that didn't used to happen as much. You've got the three Watts, you've got the Edmonds, Diggs. This is going to sound so bad, but what was the... The guy that only has one hand? You don't know who I mean, do you? There's a pair of brothers. He played for the Seahawks, I think. I can't think of his name. He He's missing a hand, but he's still like a really good... He's a linebacker, and I think he has a safety or defensive back brother. Can you do backflips? Um, no. <laughs> I can't do many athletic things. If I can walk from my computer to the refrigerator and not run out of breath, I, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. What is the story on crossplay? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Griffins, that's right. Anyway, story on crossplay. Uh, I mean, I, there's no news on it that I'm aware of. They did just release it in Second Extinction, and that's also an Avalanche Studios game, so, like, maybe there's hope of it, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Kyle and I tried that out last night. It, it worked alright. There were some glitches, but fairly decent, like, party system and stuff, I thought. Hmm. Some strugs, too. Hunting takes some athleticism. Climbing a tree stand with, uh, you know, a backpack and all that stuff. That and sometimes even just the terrain you gotta cover later this fall. Is that a... No. That's where that tree was. I thought it was a melanistic mule deer. Anyway, later this fall we'll get to do more of the the fun terrain walking. There's a ton of mule deer down in this corner. I didn't know about all these. Well, anyway, not to uh, rush things, but if we are going to hunt tonight, I think we're going to take the best buck we can. Hopefully a hard shot. Indeed. We'll get him, and then we're going to be 
on our way, hopefully to not get rained on, and uh, hunt this evening. So I'll go into play, and this won't be the only content that we do today, but we'll kind of see how that goes. Didn't really watch until the Super Bowl last year, so I thought Kansas City would have would have had another ring until I found out Tampa had Brady and Gronk. Yeah, if you have Tom Brady, you officially just make it to the Super Bowl every other year, essentially. I keep on saying that, and he's talking about playing until 50 now, so who knows. But I remember seven years ago, it seemed like Brady was starting to age, and the Steelers were still pretty dominant. So I was like, man, Brady's going to retire. Manning's on the, the back nine of his career. We're going to get like a couple of rings here. And now Roethlisberger is going to be gone before Brady. Pretty much every quarterback <laughs> drafted, what, pre-2006 is probably going to be gone. Brady's still going to be chilling winning rings. Anyway, thank you for the luck, Billy. I'm sure we are going to need it. But yeah, we're going to wrap up here, head out to a tree stand, and see what we can get ourselves into tonight. But uh, yeah, as always, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support, and we shall see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!